Star Wars Super Bombat Racing is a 2001 PlayStation 2 kart racer developed by Lucas Learning and published by LucasArts. It was officially unveiled at E3 2000 and during its launch a year later, copies of the game, signed by George Lucas, were raffled away. Using characters and locations from The Phantom Menace, the game challenges its players to race up to 8 components or 3 friends using weapons and gadgets to gain the upper hand. The game's trademark is the appearance of the characters. In similar style to Mario Kart for the Nintendo 64, they all have oversized silly looking hats while racing in small vehicles. These vehicles however all hover making Super Bombat Racing's gameplay different than what was established with Mario Kart. Races consists of three laps. Power-ups are littered throughout each course, and each provides the player with varying temporary effects, such as a boost in speed, a shield, or offensive weapons. In the special arena mode, players control their characters in a vehicular combat scenario. Power-ups from the racing modes are used, but instead of navigating a race course, the objective is to eliminate enemy characters and be the last one standing. Super Bombad Racing received average to mixed reviews. Some praised the game, calling it an accomplished kart racer and a welcome addition to the then short list of games on PlayStation 2. Excellent. Others, however, felt that while the game was mechanically sound, the Star Wars setting and appearance felt tacked on and therefore a dirty ploy to sell more games under the Star Wars label. Others roundly criticized the game, both for turning Star Wars into a childish kart racer and for simply making a bad game. Additional releases were planned for the Sega Dreamcast, Windows and Mac OS, but these were cancelled due to poor sales on the PlayStation 2. After the decision was made to stop development on the game on other platforms, Lucas Learning decided to leave the market. Mission.